is this? A play. What kind of play? A play with words. I see. And what about this play is giving you trouble? Do you want to talk about it? Can I use my words? If you wish. <clears throat> Do you want the big words or the small words? Oh, either would be fine. No! You have to pick. OK, small words. Why did you choose the small words? Are you afraid of big words or something? No, I just thought the small words would make it easier for you to relax. We can go with the big words if you'd like. Well, why'd you choose the big words? Do you think I can explain this in small words? Look, I'm just trying to be accommodating. You seem to be suffering from a fair amount of word-related anxiety. Tell me about it. Why don't you tell me about it? Can I use my words? If you wish. I guess it all started when I was typing and narrating to the audience at the same time. Word. A unit of language. A speech sound or a group of speech sounds or in the written representation that function as the verbal or written communication. Principal carrier of meaning. Usually separated by space on the written page, words are composed of one or more morphemes. Sometimes three, four would be pushing it and are commonly the smallest units susceptible to independent use or consist of th two or three such linking conditions. Words give meaning. The linking of words into sentences give even more meaning. I'm into meaning. Meaning's important. Best not screw with that. My name's Scribe. I'm a writer. Come in. Mr. Scribe? Yes? My name is Me, Mr. Me, and these are my cohorts, Miss I and Mr. Myself. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Scribe, we've had a very difficult week. Oh, I'm sorry. I said we've had a very difficult week! Yeah, I heard you. I was just trying to be... Chivalrous? Uh... Civil? Yeah. Courtly? Sure. Courteous? Gracious? Mannerly? Well-bred? Uh... Polite. Yes. Th thank you. Polite. <laughs> Mr. Scribe. <laughs> we need your help. Aid! Assistance! We've lost something, and we need your help to get it back. Why don't you go to the police? Do you mean the gendarmerie? The constabulary! The men in law! The law! The smokies! The fuzz! The cops! Yes, yes! The police! File a missing persons report or a missing things report. Why are you coming to me? I'm a writer. <gasps> boom! Shake a boom! Shake a boom! What things do you write? Words? What kinds of words? Words that mean things? You're perfect! What? <laughs> see, see, he knows! Knows what? Mr. Scribe, you must help us. As you have so prophetically deduced, we've lost our what? What? That's correct. No, no, what's missing? That's absolutely right. What's going on here? It is? Here? Where? Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Your name is me, your name is I, your name is myself, and you've all lost your what? That's, That's right. right. Your what is gone. Precisely. That's terrible. My inner crusader for meaning was awakening deep within me and quickly ignited an ember of grammatical justice that summarily turned to vapor any shot of God I may have harbored in the vast sea of my ambivalence. How many metaphors is that? Twenty-seven! Four! Four! Thanks. <laughs> You've appealed to my overly developed pursuance of meaning. How could I not, not, not help you? Oh, is that three months? Yeah, so you're not going to help us? I could never be. Nothing then more than not unhelpful. So, so you are going to help us. Leave it to me to be never, not, nothing more than less uncooperative. Not! <laughs> I'm at your service. Tell me, where is the last place you had your what? At the, at the peninsula, peninsula of Prometheus! I wasted no time and headed to the peninsula of Panetheus. Now, Panetheus was a purse-nickety punster who would perambulate through her palace, practically 
perpetually. <laughs> my name is Scribe. Are you Prometheus? Yes, but my friends call me Theus. Okay, Theus. <laughs> please call me us for short. <laughs> Us? Don't call us. She'll call you. <laughs> right. Listen, us, me, myself, and I have lost their what, and they said it was last year with you. They shouldn't sweat it. Those three are always perspiring against me. <laughs> I found myself grossed out by us's imagery. <laughs> I was eager to find anything that would help me blind my mind's eye. Having nothing available, I had to press on. Listen, us, I'm not here to cause problems. I'm just here to find the what. Now just power down there, buddy. I find these accusations very shocking. <laughs> what are they gonna charge me with? Assault and a battery? <laughs> Nobody's charging you with anything. They just want to know the current location of their what. No need to be so wired. Don't waste your energy. Well played, Scribe. This isn't a game. Or is it? I suppose it's my move. <laughs> Last I checked, mate. <laughs> Well, I don't know where their what is, but let me call my gardener, Mr. Spooner. He's a loafer and a bit of a heel, <laughs> but he's got a lot of soul. <laughs> Mr. Spooner. Mrs. Spooner speaking. Spooner, could you come here for a minute? We have a visitor. He's a little hard to... I describe. I'll be there at Sus the Jacket. <laughs> Spooner was a young gardener with a budding career. But there was something about him that just seemed a little seed. I can hear you narrating. What? You really should be more careful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Scribe, this is my gardener, Eugene Spooner. Hello, Eugene. Please, you may just call me you. You want me to call you you? Yes, fan would be that-tastic. <laughs> okay, you. Me, myself, and I have lost their what? Have they now? Very interesting. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have any extra what's lying around the grounds now, would you? No. What's a wig about their butt anyway? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's what, not butt. That's what he said. That's what I said. <laughs> no, you said what's a wig about their oh, butt. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you think you're a pretty fart smeller now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like to think that I have a certain... Wait, no! I don't do that! What kind of gardener is he anyway? A blooming good one. <laughs> this is serious! They've lost their what? Their what?! Don't you understand the ramifications of their loss? I understand the famorications a lot better than you think I do. Uh, Mr. Scott! <laughs> This has been very enchanting, and I, of course, am charmed <laughs> to a major acquaintance, but I really do must leave you for a spell. Oh, our time together has been simply magic. <laughs> I trust you can find your way out. Yes, of course. <laughs> Very frustrating. I can see that. It's like, there's gotta be meaning. Or at least, more meaning. It's just, hey. What? I can hear you aerating. Aerating? 
No, marinating. <laughs> narrating? Yeah, you silly rugby more careful. I'm not narrating, I'm talking to my therapist. Lounge psych narrating to me. Yeah, well, it's not. Lounge psych action. <laughs> Look, it's my play, I should know. Whatever. What? You really want to find the what? Meet me wound by the dwarf at midnight. Wound by the dwarf? No, wound by the dwarf. Down by the wharf? Yeah, at midnight. Oh, and uh, come saw your belt. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should probably get back to you. Oh, it's no problem. That, no offense, I hope. No, 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 you just go ahead. <laughs> Meeting you down by the wharf at midnight alone wasn't my idea of a party. He struck me. <laughs> as a guy with a few skeletons in his closet. <laughs> Frankly, he gave me the creeps. Hey, your name's Scribe? Yeah? Okay, you want to sign for these? What is this? These two. I don't understand. They're uh, creeps. A gift from a gift from Mr. U Spooner. He's giving them to me? Yeah, he's giving you the creeps. Just sign for you. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with them? Not my problem, buddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are your names? My name's Day. They? They! Oh! My name is Sam, but my friends call me Mam because I don't have any nicknames because my name is Mam. Because I don't even like the name Nick because my name is Them, and that's why. Out. No, I don't want to. Listen, I was kind of in the middle of narrating here. Um, I know, why don't you two go down by the wharf and meet me there around midnight? That's cool. Maybe we can find a cat down there. I love cats! They're delicious. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I've seen all the gangster movies. I know it's never a smart idea to meet anyone alone at the wharf at midnight. That's where they'll plug ya. <laughs> Put you on ice. <laughs> Fit you with a nice pair of concrete overshoes. Hey, your name's Scribe? Yeah, you know my name's Scribe. I just saw you. Okay, you want to sign here? What are these? Some concrete overshoes. They're a gift for you. Would you get out of here? Sheesh, smart. Should have been. I didn't give a second thought about sending the creeps to the wharf before me. After all, they were creepy. Yeah, but 
But did you know that I didn't know how much I wanted to know that I wanted to know that I knew you knew you know that? <laughs> know what? <laughs> that there's rats. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, why didn't you tell me about the book? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were going to say more. Why didn't you tell me about the rats? I love rats. Why aren't we looking for rats? I mean, like, you already saw rats. Why aren't we looking for cats? I'm not hungry for rats. Oh. Well, OK, here. Let me get on your back so I can maybe see the rats that I like better than cats that I love. Me. Cool. <laughs> Ouch! Anybody dollow you? No. Are you absolutely urtin? Yes. Beyond a battle of a shout. Beyond a battle of a shout? No. Beyond a battle of a shout. Beyond a shadow of a doubt? Yes. Listen, I'm sure I wasn't followed. You're not turning chickeny, are you? Of Norse cod. Good. Now's no time to get old feet. That kind of thing really gets my dandruff up. No, don't dirty about your wandruff. <laughs> Look, here is the contract. It says that you get 50% now, plus 50% when the job is finished. Don't worry. Scribe will be dead as a toenail before the night is up. <laughs> ah! What happened? I overheard it! I overheard it! I smell a bat! Something's rotten in Bismarck! I'm warning you, this contract better not have any loopholes in it. I assure you, this contract, this lact has no poop holes! <laughs> What you do is what you set. You get 50% now. As soon as Scribe is disposed of, when you'll get the guest. Hey, creeps. <laughs> What's going on? Are you two okay? I overdid it. I overheard it. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Scrap! You mustn't be careful. Your life is not in danger. Huh? <laughs> Why? Not? I don't know. I overheard it. You did not! I did! I overheard something. I didn't want to hear it over what I heard, but I did. And now I wish I wanted to want to not hear what I heard when I overheard something. <laughs> What did you hear? Well, first of all, I didn't just hear something. You overheard something. Yeah, really overheard something. And it hurt. Yeah, it really hurt bad. It was great. <laughs> OK, I, I get it. What did you overhear? Does this have anything to do with you? You who? Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you who. You who? Eugene Spooner? I can't tell you. Why not? Because we are a gift to you from Mr. Spooner. He wanted to give you the creeps. It was. He made us promise not to tell you anything about him. That's crazy. You can tell me what you heard, and I'll tell him, because I'm a liar. <laughs> OK, but do you promise not to tell Mr. Scribe what I'm about to tell you? I promise. <laughs> OK. Uh, secret, secret. I tell you a secret. OK. She says that Mr. Eugene Spooner has not hired a shadowy figure to dispose of you, Mr. Scribe. He hasn't paid 50% now and will not pay the other 50% when the job is done. 
So does this mean there is a contract out for my life? <laughs> secret, secret, secret. Apparently there's a lack of no poop holes. <laughs> You're a liar! One of the creeps you Spooner sent me. How do I know I can trust you? You can't trust me! Are you lying now? No! <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Yes! But, but like a really funny joke. Like, like the funniest joke you've ever heard. Yes! Aha! You lied! I can trust you! <laughs> when are you supposed to plug me? Put me on ice. Fit me with a nice pair of concrete overshoes. Who's there? Get your hands where I can see them or your moose is cooked. Moose? Don't you mean goose? Oh, a wise pie, eh? I've seen it all, but once in a blue spoon, I'll come across a smart addict who's just a little too big for his ditches. <laughs> Smart attic? Who are you anyway? Wharf security. I didn't know the wharf had security. Let me see some identification. It's on the badge. Read it and peep. <laughs> security officer, Ithaca Itasca. That's my name. Don't wear a trout. <laughs> Let me guess. Your friends call you Ith, but I can call you It for short. Yeah. How'd you know that? What are you, flamboyant? <laughs> Just a lucky guess. And no, I'm not clairvoyant. You getting smart with me? You better not be getting smart with me. That kind of thing really gets my dandruff up. Now what's your name? My name is Scribe. What person? The person who's supposed to kill Scribe. I recognize the things she says, but she says the things in a way that makes me recognize Are you sure? Things. Yeah. <laughs> then you need to warn Scribe. I can't. Why not? Because we're a bit Oh, Scribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it the first time. You need to warn him. Um, okay. Pissed. <laughs> who was contracted to kill you. That's a relief. At first I was beginning to think that- No, this isn't the one who was hired to kill you. Yep, I heard you the first time. <laughs> isn't the one, isn't! I get it! I don't think you do get it, scribe. <laughs> What's the gun for? No sudden grooves, scribe. I'll try to make this as brainless as possible. <laughs> This already is brainless! <laughs> Wait a second, you're the one who's supposed to stamp me out, aren't you? You're not as numb as you look, scribe. <laughs> Darn it, then you said this isn't the one who's supposed to kill me! It isn't! Oh! <laughs> it suddenly dawned on me that the creeps are trying to save my life. We, we can, can hear you narrating for crying out loud! It's not gonna help you this time, scribe. Take a cheap breath, cause it's gonna be your last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be helping some nice people find their wad, which I find a noble pursuit because what thing you get anything have without a wad, but then it always turns out I'm about to get killed and it turns into some weird half-baked murder mystery or, or whodunit. And you just want this to be a play with words. Yeah. 
You what? suck! You're into meaning! Yeah! Isn't it possible plots help words mean things? Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. It's just that whenever I get chugging away on the words, the plot comes in and screws me up. I have no idea how it happens. If I step back in there now, I'm gonna take a bullet. That would be good. No, see? I think you need to reclaim this play with words by demanding a little justice. Justice? Yes, do a little plot twisting to get this play back on track. Reclaim the meaning that you aspire to, that you want, that you need. Wow, you're good. <laughs> wait till you see my bill. <laughs> I can't wait. Now go in there and get justice. Session, y'all. This case is scribed and it's tried. It feels the vibe and won't take no bribe. He's in the pan and cooking, off the hooking, writing his booking while we weren't looking. He wants to discuss his process of justice like Caesar Augustus so he can go bust us. <laughs> Presiding in the seat of judgment, Kane the Grudge Rep is the trippin', no slippin', tight shippin', most tippin', double D dippin', honorable Judge Herb of the Mix Proverbs! Thank you, Bailiff. For shizzle, judges all. Can I get a what, what? <laughs> what, what? You may be seated. <laughs> I've read the case and I understand that everybody is sworn in. Word! Excellent. Very efficient. A stitch in time is worth two in the bush. Now then, uh, Mr. Scribe, I'd like you to start from the beginning. What precisely has been the problem? That's correct, Your Honor. What is? Yes. Young man. <laughs> As you sow, so shall you keep the doctor away. I don't follow. That's because he who follows is a penny earned. Listen, what is the problem? That's what I want to know. I've been saying that. What? Is the problem, or at least it was. Well, what's the problem now? No, not really. Now I have other problems. Fine. What are these other problems? No, I told you, these really don't have anything to do with that. With what? That's right. Listen, son, scratch my back. Unless you are spoken to. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out how your problems began. Well, I guess it all started when I was visited by three strangers. Ah, uh, who are these strangers? Me, myself, and I. That's the same difference. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> no, no I, I didn't call you anything. I was just trying to Listen, point boy, out. I run a clean courtroom, and I will not accept any more derogatory comments. I think it's pretty ugly. <laughs> That's also an oxymoron. <laughs> Maybe you're the moron, moron. Do you want me to come over there and show you what pretty ugly really is? No. <laughs> Thank you, Bailiff. That won't be necessary. Son, I'm about this close to holding you in contempt of court. A fool and his money <gasps> gathers no moss. <laughs> now let's try again. Can you tell me who these strangers were that visited you? Me, myself, and I, like I said. You visited yourself. No, that's stupid. What's stupid? No, what's important? That's how I ended up in this stupid plot in the first place. Okay, okay, calm down. <laughs> Still waters spoil the child. <laughs> so these, these strangers don't know you. I don't know, but they know his employer. Whose employer? You's employer, but you can pronounce it any way you'd like. Okay, who does this person work for? Us. Us? Yes. <laughs> not me. Of course not. You mean you? No, you's a gardener. He's not self-employed. Well, who does he work for? Us! Ah! <laughs> I can do this. He who hesitates is next to godliness. 
The gardener's evil, but he gave me the creeps, and I got to know them pretty well. And they tried to save my life. Who tried to save your life? They did, and I guess I have them to thank for that, too. <laughs> How did they try to save your life? They told me it was going to kill me. That what was going to kill you? That it was going to kill me. What was it? What wasn't it? Well, I don't know! Tell me! <laughs> what isn't it? But it tried to kill me. Why would it do that? It was hired to do that. Now who hired it to do that? You did! <laughs> Boy, that's the straw that breaks the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Listen, not you, you. Fucking hell, my baby, so I'm gonna have to freak out all up and down your side of the dogs. <laughs> Simmer down and shape up now. I'll lay you with the boat. Don't think I won't. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bailiff. You go, boy! <laughs> Mr. Scrock, there had better be a good explanation for this. <sighs> Listen. It tried to kill me, who was hired by you, who gave me the creeps, and also works for us, who is a complete nut job that me, myself, and I happen to know. And I wound up in this totally infernal, preposterous pickle of a mess, all because I was trying to help some needy souls find their what, which seemed really important at the time. <laughs> What's a what? <clears throat> I mean, would you know it if you saw it? Skip it. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> That's it! Found it! Scrag, you've done it! Done what? You found the missing what? It was within you the whole time! Wow. <laughs> Despite that being one of the oldest cliches in the book, I feel surprisingly happy. <laughs> But how do you know I found the what? You're a writer hugging a therapist. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is fantastic! You know, we all have our own various and sundry what's inside of us. What might be a what for me might not be a what for you. <laughs> Or you. Or even you. Somebody's what might be a wombat hugging a triceratops. <laughs> Yet for someone else, their what might be a woman having a tracheotomy. <laughs> <laughs> Yet for someone else, their what might not be a totally lame acronym whatsoever. Perhaps your what's been within you this entire time and is waiting under your nose to reveal itself. Rest assured, it will one day show itself to you with the unparalleled happiness of 16 and a half Valentine's Day cards. So are you ready? Are you ready to embrace it? Let's hear it. Are you ready to embrace it? Everybody give me a yeah! Yeah! Everybody give me another yeah! Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> We're all pulling for ya! <laughs> Get out there and seize that nouny, adjectivish, adverbial pronoun. Go out there and kick some what? <laughs> One more time! What is this? A play! What kind of play? A play with words! Come in! My name is B. This is I and myself! Hello! Mr. Scribe, we need your help. Go to the police. We've lost our what? That's terrible, and that's your service. Where did you have your what? A peninsula beneath this! Punster! Well played, Scrub! This isn't a game! My move! Checkmate! Scrub, Scrub, are you going to- 
Hello, Eugene. Bart Sneller. <laughs> you see what's going on here? Yes. Very frustrating. I can see that. I can hear you aerating. Narrating? Yeah. Me, he wound by the door at midnight. <laughs> he, frankly, he gave me the creeps. Stop. What are your names? Hey, I want to make out. No, go to the war. That's cool. <laughs> hey, look, it's you. You who? Hello there. A lack with no poop hole. Something's rotten in Bismarck. I overdid it. I overheard it. It's not going to help you this time, scribe. Take a cheap breath. <gasps> Excuse me. Do you want this to be a play with words? Yes, but so. Go in there and get justice. <gasps> Honorable Judge Herb of the Mixed Proverbs. Thank you, bailiff. More shizzle judges all. What is the problem? That's what I want to know. I've been saying that. Oh, that's the straw that broke the kettle black. Skip it. <gasps> a writer hugging a therapist. Wow, this is awesome. 